Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G here and I am getting ready to pack to go to the States for the next two months. Um, we're leaving soon and I have been overwhelmed with all the things that I want to do, have to do. So I thought I would talk about what it's like going home again, the things that worry me, scare me, my whole attitude about returning back to the States. Um, obviously just for a few months, but a lot of people when they are abroad, they go home, they talk about culture shocks, they're like overwhelmed going back. So I want to tell you how I kind of avoid those things, how I think about it, and um, put some outfits together so you guys can see some of the things that I will be wearing while I'm in the States. Of course, I'll be recording while I'm there, but um, this is actually how I start to try and pack and organize myself a little bit. So guys, subscribe to my channel and let's see what I'm going to wear and have a little chat. So I just read, unfortunately, some people were not put here to evolve. They are here to remind you what it looks like if you don't. So I am the worst because basically I pile all my clothes and then I start trying to figure out like what I'm going to be wearing um, ultimately when I'm away. I try to put together a few outfits or looks or whatever so that I kind of don't have to overpack. Um, that's me. It's a method that probably does not make sense, but it helps me remember, okay, like I'm going to miss and match these things or like whatever. So let's see some outfits while I talk about this. Now, what's really important for me being able to, <laughs> to go home again is to take my kids because it's really important for them to see different aspects of me, I think, uh, because being abroad, being in Italy, there's, you know, mom as an immigrant and going home shows them mom as her complete self and being able to connect with my friends, my family, and for them to be able to connect and see me as a whole human being. All right, so I love this little outfit. This little dress is kind of, let's see if we can see it. Okay, this is definitely one of the things that I'm going to take with me. I love this. I'll probably pair it with, so I have like these shoes. I'll probably pair this with one of these, but I'm taking both of these shoes for sure. So hopefully this works out. So them being able to see me as like my complete self is so important because I feel like sometimes here I don't express myself fully because I'm speaking Italian to everybody. They don't see me give my full personality. And I, I think it's important because when you're home and you're with your crew, your people and everything, it makes a huge difference. And I am lucky because I have managed to maintain most of my important friendships. And one of the things that I have found from being abroad is that <laughs> the people who are my people stayed. And very quickly, once people realized, you know, I was going to be away and not be able to, I, I don't even know what to call it, but whatever it is, I've lost friends for sure. People who I thought were friends have gone away taking this, but I have managed to definitely maintain some of my best friends and most of my, well, my best friends, I have all my best friends, you know, those kind of side friends and everything who are just kind of there for, I guess, a season have gone away and I'm not mad at that. I'm, I'm very happy that I've managed to maintain the important relationships in my life. And not everybody does, not everybody has been able to do that. Now, one of the things that I think that I don't suffer, reasons I don't suffer from culture shock is because, well, I have my little sports bra on, but let's see, you can see this dress. Ooh, it's giving, hold on. Okay, I think this dress is giving. It's giving, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a keeper. 
it's going to, it's going to, the boobs aren't in the right place yet, but you know, I got a sports bra on. Anyway, so one of the reasons that I think that, um, <laughs> I have been able to avoid these kind of culture shocks when you go home and you see your friends and things are different, not the same. I think a lot of people who go abroad think that when they go back to their home country, that everything is gonna be like it was. Even though they've been traveling and doing all of these different things, they expect the people that they left behind to always be in the same space that they were when they left. Not everybody, but from the things that I hear people say, that is what I get. Now, I will say the one time that I had the biggest shock, if you will, was right after COVID. The first trip I took home after COVID and I had been gone for like three years and so like just physically the city that I was used to had changed the places that I loved some of the places that I loved weren't there anymore and this was really hard because I was like huh, I, I needed that I wanted that thing to eat that thing the experience that I had before and it wasn't there and I will say I walked around the city at some point thinking I knew where things were but feeling quite lost now it's really important for me um that my children experience the United States because culturally I don't want them to be so enmeshed in Italian culture that they cannot relate to their American side and ooh, this is giving yeah I think this is giving too so all right I'm feeling it fill in this too I think it's cute although this is like choking I don't really this might be a problem for me but it's cute I like the color okay so what I have learned to do sorry so what I have learned to do to kind of avoid you know this idea that everybody and everything is exactly where it was 10 years ago it's been 10 it's been a year and a half since I've been back. I took the kids back last, like not this very past October, but the October before, a year ago, October, uh, for Halloween, and we stayed a month. But I think that's going with me too. Now, I like clothes that are a little different. <laughs> so I've been trying to decide like this might be a chilly weather thing but I could also wear it with a skirt um let's see maybe I could just I can wear it with some shorts I can wear it as a dress let's see um definitely needs something underneath definitely needs to wear something underneath this and it feels warm see this is why I try things on so that it's so cute. I can see this like out. Oh, I need gloves. What if I had gloves? Like fingerless little wristlets. That would be cute with maybe a skirt. Not this skirt. Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. This might be cute with this skirt. Hmm. You guys. You guys gotta tell me what you think of this. <laughs> this little this little look. But I think in jeans could be better. I think in jeans might be better, but this would be cute. I think some kind of way. Um so how I avoid dealing with the idea that everything should be the same is really like just being open when I go home. I try to listen to my friends, I try to not be too pretentious about what I've become used to someplace else. I think one of the things that I find frustrating is like people go back home and they're like, oh, it's so much better. This type of thing is better where I just can't go back there. Go back to wherever you came from then. <laughs> I think that a lot of times when we go through these transitions, we think that we've evolved into some higher being. And the truth is 
you have it. You just went someplace different and you assimilate it to something different. It doesn't make it better all the time. And I think a lot of times when people are abroad, they have to believe that everything that they experience in their, you know, adopted country is some sort of king of, of everything. Now, I don't try out everything, just some, I, I, I just have to do a few looks because I want to make sure that I'm not crazy for the ideas that I have for, for an outfit. Because sometimes I'm not, I don't know. So I've been wanting a blue jean, like things go with this, but anyway, I couldn't find any proper blue jean thing. So I found this thing that looks like blue jean. Oh, I feel like a princess. It's giving princess. I think it's giving princess or tragedy. I don't know. <laughs> my room is a mess. That's like my partner's mess. I just can't deal with his cleaning up after him. Anyway, um, so I feel like I'm so, I'm so excited when I, I'm going to be documenting a lot of the things that we're doing and everything, um, with, it's just going to be me and the boys and I don't mind traveling with the boys by myself. Uh, they're actually, when we went before, they're great at traveling and kind of like adapting and rolling with the punches. So much so that I can think I can do that all the time with them. What does this look like? Let's see. Oh, this is this is also not bad. Maybe with a belt. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe with a belt. I could do this too. Anyway. You guys gotta tell me if you see something that I'm, I'm planning on packing that looks terrible, let me know because you won't hurt my feelings. I'm really not that sensitive. Obviously, if you're on social media, you can't be too sensitive. But <laughs> I think that um, whenever I go back, I make the biggest effort to listen, to pay attention, and to try and reconnect with the people that... I have at home and I put forth, you know, even though I'm coming from everywhere, I will drive a few hours from, from where I'm, I, I am to see other friends. Um, and not that I feel like it's my job, but also if I go there, they'll let me stay at their house. <laughs> so, cause it's expensive to go back to the U S and that's why I feel lucky. Um, because I, I am so far away and I do get to go back at least annually and most people don't. I was talking to this woman yesterday and she was saying that she left the States 40 years ago and she had only been back a handful of times and she really regretted it because she was so focused on being Italian. And I find that happens a lot with people abroad they become so focused with trying to assimilate and fit into where they are where they are that they leave so much of themselves behind and for me i assume that you didn't like yourself to begin with and i don't think i had that problem <laughs> i didn't have that problem when i left the united states and i didn't leave because i was running from myself and i do find that a lot of american immigrants abroad are running from themselves or something or someone that they don't want to deal with. They want to recreate themselves into something else where nobody knows them and they get a chance to become like who they want it to be, that they never felt like they could be where they came from. And I never... I never had that problem. I mean, I've gone through my transitions. I've talked about some of the things I've experienced uh, when I was in the States as a child growing up. Those were probably some of my more difficult periods. But once I became an adult and I actually healed from all of the shit that I'd been through, I was completely happy. But I always wanted to live abroad. And living abroad wasn't like this thing where I felt like I needed to get away. <laughs> my best friend reminds me all the time when I was like 12 or 13 years old I said that I didn't belong in that country that uh, I said Italy was my home country and somehow I'm here 
but it is not my home country. Now that, I'm, now that I understand Italy and more of like the things, I know that ultimately this is not where I'm going to end my existence as a human being, this human experience. But I do know that I wasn't, I never felt like at home in some ways, not necessarily in the United States, but growing up. And I think that was when I manifested this, when I did want to run away um, and I had no place to go. And I manifested this as a little kid that now actually like just transpired like many, many years later. But I think that when I go back, I always feel welcome by my friends and that is what really makes a difference for me. And I think that if I didn't feel that welcome, it would change for me. And I have my oldest son there. So even if I, even if I never had friends anymore, I'm going home to see my baby. I had to put some clothes on. Somebody was ringing the bell. Um, <laughs> I can't just go in my, in my bralette. Anyway, um, there are... So many aspects of going back home that I feel like I have already started checking myself like one of my friends was saying I was cooking dinner I was talking to her and she's like oh I want you to cook some Italian food when you come and I was like "Ooh, they're not gonna have the right kind of basil oh, I bet the tomatoes aren't gonna be good that is pretty that is what happens like people start thinking like oh I can only do it this way or that way because they've been abroad and they've adopted these ideas and it's just not like you just got to stop yourself from being an asshole that like that's all I can say is like stop yourself from embodying an asshole and you're going to be OK. Um, for me, whenever I go back, how I manage to not feel left out, because I think that's what people start to feel like they feel left out all of the things that were are no longer their relationships are different even if they're still connected with people you don't know like the same you don't have the same level of communication the same level of connectivity the same understanding of everything that they're going through in order to be able to just assume that everything's going to be the same so i i try to always just walk in and be ready and open to listening to my friends, to getting updates on all of the things that we can't say because there's a seven hour time difference or a six hour time difference between me and them. And we only can connect in certain limited ways. And for me, it's just like, I get to go and <sighs> like be in the arms of the people who actually know so much more about me. Because even in the sense where living here and my family knows me, there are there they don't have my history. I have known my best friend since I was twelve years old, and you, you just can't you just can't um, you can't have that anyplace else. You know, like you have to go home for that. And for me, that is what it feels like when I get to go back. I get to eat tacos and burritos and all of the things that fried freaking catfish. Oh my gosh, I get to eat some fried catfish and I am like Wah! so excited. So um I am I try to find ways to make sure that my kids are connecting with my their their family there to have some sort of exchange with kids their own age and make sure that they get a little dose of the culture and not just feel like we're on vacation. Um, I had wanted to put them into a um, a camp and I thought about doing the, the summer camp, but I also realized that would be kind of asshole of me to take a space for from a parent who might actually need it. Uh, versus me just wanting my children to have a cultural experience. So I have to find different ways to do that. And I, I'm, so I'm very conscious and aware because I do feel like Italian culture, culture is so heavy, but they also have Black American culture that is so rich and so amazing and so full. It is a part of them that they get to connect 
with through me but it's hard to do that here in Italy so I want them to feel a part of that as well and that's really important so there's so many dynamics of them getting to see me in a different place in a different light and I'm not just their immigrant mom when we are there <laughs> versus here and I really look forward to sharing this time with them and since it's just the three of us it feels even more intimate and I don't have to worry about like trying to figure out things for my partner so I am super happy I will be sharing parts of our journey um, as we're traveling doing different things and me trying to balance everything. I don't know how people are always recording. Like I have to do stuff by myself. So sometimes that's why I don't get to show you all the aspects of my life, but I do have to finish packing and I have event, the bag event that I am preparing for that I have to finish some bags for. And I gotta get ready to go guys. So Subscribe to my channel. Um, you will be seeing me in America pretty soon. Not quite yet, but pretty soon we will be in the States. So um, yeah, I can't wait to share that with you too. So ciao, ciao for now.